Good morning, good morning, good morning. Mike here. It's Saturday. Hope you're having a great day or night when you're watching today's video. Today, me and Steve will be out hunting for some garage sale profits, hitting up some estate sales, whatever we can find to make some profit. Hopefully today will be some good stuff. It is windy as heck today. But that's not going to stop us from out there sourcing, making a couple bucks. So, let's see what we do today. Windy day, windy day, garage sale fun. Slim pickings at the sales today, boys and girls. Not giving up. Gonna find some profits sooner or later. Winds are blowing here, Steve. Are you talking to me? <laughs> I was, talking, I was, I was, I was trying to look at a yard sale sign, man. <laughs> We're on the prowl for some profits. There's a sale right here. There we go. Hey, there's an old uh, Camaro. How much is the Camaro? Ooh, this place is hopping and popping. Yeah, man. Ooh, military closed up. Oh, this is my type of dig. Um, that's what I'm talking about. This will score here a box of goodies for $9. I'll take it. Yeah, baby. More stuff and stuff and stuff, 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 Steve, garage sale, season. Three in a row, baby. Boom, 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 shakalaka, all on the same little street. Oh, there's another one. Hopping, hopping, what's this guy got? What's this guy got? And He's on his phone looking at eBay. Picking him some more deals and steals. on the steels I found the holy grail guys 25,000 for the black diamond on eBay I'll do 10 thanks I'm good beat him up on price huh <laughs> the guy stopped me once while I was walking. Let's see if he stops me when I do a U turn. What are you trying to buy? A golf bag that uh, sold pre owned, several of them sold in the $60 to $80 range. A, a travel uh, cover for a golf bag. What's the brand? Big Boy. Mm. Which I thought was appropriate. 15 You out for 10 no, you want you wanted twenty five. Oh, I got them to fifteen. Now I'll drive real slowly by. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna wave? Oh hell yeah! I'm gonna put my window down and stop and drool over it and see what he says. Oh uh, yeah, guys, let's see let's see if Steve can pull us off. Um, uh, my odds are one out of four. Let's see. Just staring. I know he's looking at me. Thanks a lot. He didn't want to sell. He didn't want to pull the trigger for 10. I okay. should probably buy it for 15, but I ain't got it. <laughs> Off the next sale. We hit two so far. I thought I saw a sign up here for a garage there sale. It there it is. Uh-oh. Uh is this the one? This might be the one, dude, I went to last year or year before. Yep. Look at all the stuff in that garage. That has nothing but video games. Ooh, this is a good little hoard. It's a good little hoard of stuff. Let's go see what stuff we can dig into the stuff. You think there's... <laughs> so that was the guy from last year, if you watch my channel. He had all those video games, and uh, I tried to ask him three times, right, Steve? Sell me. And he didn't budge. He didn't want to move. He was like, oh my god, it's like selling my children. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Over video games. Man, they're a bunch of games, you know? I know. I'm like, you sure? You want, they tried to sell me MM stuff. They had a bunch of cool Coke stuff, but just, I don't know. Yeah, reproduction. Just stuff. eBayers, you know what I mean? I hate to say, I'm not trying to be critical like that. It's, oh, they're, they're resellers. But they are kind of collectors and they're just trying to make some money, which, hey, good, good on them, you know? 
but uh, it's a year later, you still got the games, and uh, didn't want to sell them, so uh, it is a what it is, uh, see if we can find any more deals and steals. All right, taking Steve to this uh, garage sale. I never released the video, but uh, I almost literally got fucking beat up here. <laughs> Look at this stuff, mounds and mounds. Look at all that stuff there, dude. Let's go check it out. Like another garage sale, estate sale, sell me your stuff! Leaving that sale there, picked up two pieces of clothing for two bucks. Lots of sales today, that's for sure. We're loading up Steve's car and we're getting ready to hit another sale. This guy's driving. Which away. is right here. Let's check it out. See if we can find some profit. All right, so just coming out of this sale here, and uh, what, Steve, just all eBay prices? Everything was eBay. The guy had eBay tape on all his boxes. He had eBay boxes, and everything he researched was eBay sold pricing, and I was just telling Mike that uh, some hearing aid thing sold all day long for $8, and guess what the price was on it? <laughs> The funny part is he had a DVD VCR combo, a nice Sony one that goes for 75. He wanted 30 for it, and I'm like, "Will not willing to deal on this?" And he's like, uh, "Well, no, they're hard to find, and they're kind of firm. I can do 25." And then the woman's like, "Well, come back tomorrow. Where things going to be like?" And he's like, "Shh, I'm like, come on, man." <laughs> Crazy. It's an estate sale, man. You have a discount on yeah. this thing, please. It's just amazing to me that people do that. You know, it's it's nine dollars in eBay, so I'm gonna sell for nine dollars. It's just come on. Craziness, crazy. All right, back from the garage sales, got a lot of stuff. Let's just jump right into the video of what we picked up. So we spent a total of a right around a hundred dollars for everything I'm going to show you guys here. I think so, there's some amazing things here. There's one thing that I'll talk about that I'll show you guys that I'm not a hundred percent sure what it is, but I couldn't pass them up. I think it's worth uh, some good money to the right individuals. Anyways, let me show you what we picked up. All right, let's dive into the clothing. We got this L.L. Bean men's nice uh, long sleeve shirt here. We have a Ralph Lauren quarter uh, zip up slash buttons. Got like the nice military on there. Um, just long sleeve uh, sweater. Picked up this chalk line vintage Man USA Miami Dolphins. Kind of just like a satin starter jacket. Pretty cool. Thought this t-shirt was neat. Just kind of a, like a tie-dye, like the mountain looking shirt. Some dude just some skeleton just thrashing, man. So that's pretty neat. Picked up this vintage USA drinking team mesh trucker snapback hat. Also got this Ferrari. Uh, I think this is a Velcro back. No, just kind of like a snap hat there. That's pretty nice. Authentic Puma with the Ferrari tags in there. Uh, moving on to some media stuff. We've got just some DVDs, nothing crazy. Um, some VHS, Disney VHS. Disneyland. Uh, that's pretty cool. This one here I thought was neat. The Main Street Electrical Parade. Farewell Season. 72 to I believe 96. Uh, some new sealed Sony um, tapes here. N64 games. NBA Live 2000. Rugrats in Paris the movie. Zelda for the N64. Video games here we got uh, PS2, Dragon Ball Z. What else we got here? PS3 Uncharted. Uh, PS3 Bayonetta. Uh, here's our titles. We got PlayStation 2 Rocky, PlayStation 2 Mortal Kombat, PlayStation 2 Kingdom Hearts, PlayStation 2 Street Fighter Anniversary, and then the rest of PS3 games, Infamous, Grand Theft Auto 4, Dead Island, St. Rose 4, Skyrim, Call of Duty Black Ops. Picked up some vinyl records. We got the Doobie Brothers. Frank Sinatra, good old Frankie again, Elvis Sings the Wonderful World of Christmas, Elvis Golden Records, Elvis Pure Gold, Steve Miller Band Fly Like an Eagle, 
Ario Speedwagon High Infidelity, Casey and the Sunshine Band, the Bee Gees First. We've got here Bob beat up Bob Seeger. Looks like the Silver Bullets. And the Beach Boys Summer Days. Got some more media type stuff here. The weekend seminar, two days with the master of inspirational thoughts, Jim Rome. Cassette tape uh, motivational thing. There's another Jim Rome, Rome one. Uh, sealed. It does have some wear on it, that's for sure. But it's brand new. Uh, another Jim Rohn, Take Charge of Your Life. The Winner's Seminar. Picked up the Bible Man Adventure board game. Got a fat PS2 with controller and no power cord. Just the unit, sell it as is. Took a swing on these, a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Uh, not sure what's going to happen with these. Maybe look for some gems in here. If not, just light them up and let them fly off the shelves. Here we got a Philips sound bar. Came with the remote. Fully works. That's a nice find there. Um, this was, I think this is an excellent find, guys. Um, let me show you guys what this is. You can take a look at it. Uh, sling box. It's kind of like an audio transformer. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't want to look these up. These are worth really good money. We also have here a box full of cords and cables and Roku's. There's a Roku here, there's one, there's two. There's another sling box or sling blade. I don't know what it is. What is this? Another uh, sling box. So yeah, these all work. Uh, the lady said her son doesn't want any of this stuff anymore. So uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, clean all this up, test it, and See what we get for it. We got some Metal Mania here, a bunch of belt buckles. That uh, there's some vintage ones in here, that's pretty for sure. Um, a front tow person. There was, yeah, I saw these in here, these Los Angeles Rams football belt buckles. All types of belt buckles in here. I don't know how many are here, 15, 20 maybe. Railroad one. Cool car. Yes. Some Western ones here, Wyoming. So I've just got some cool uh, belt buckles here. Milwaukee Tools, Dodgers. These are easy to list, easy to package up and ship out. And um, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool, cool, cool. Got these nice uh, boots here. These, uh, what is this, Caribou Sorrel? Waterproof uh, men's boots here. Really good condition. This has some dust on them. But uh, we'll get these cleaned up. These should do pretty well. Maybe 40 to 60 bucks shipped. Pick this uh, vintage stenograph up. Seems to be and appears to be complete. It's got the stand. It's got the unit here. Extra papers. So it looks like it's in pretty good shape. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, take some photos of this and get this sold as well. I love me some cassette tapes because they are... Small, lightweight, you can store a lot of them, and uh, people do buy them, so uh, easy to ship. This is all, there's two layers here. It's a double case. It's all vintage, 90s rap, hip-hop, um, stuff like Black Sheep, Biz Marquee. There's NWA in here. There's Tupac. Um, a lot of uh, obscure stuff, Tribe Called Quest. Uh, what do we got here? You know, Shy. All types of stuff. Who knows what's in here? Spice One. Um, you should do pretty well for us here, Dr. Dre. Nothing but a G thing, baby. Two looked out G's going crazy. I think we hit a really complete jackpot with it. I'm not 100% sure exactly what's going on with this stuff, but uh, they're all cassette tapes from Louis Farrakhan. The final call uh, recordings from the 80s. Um, there's, a, there's a quite a bit of them in here, guys. And some of them aren't marked from what year, what date, but a lot of these are. And, um, you know, it's uh, one of these things I think people uh, really appreciate. Um, it's just, you know, it's, it's all these recordings here. March 17th, 1985. Some of them have dates on it, some don't. Some of them have, like, guest speakers on here. Let me try to find one that's got one. You know, Sunday Side One. You know, all from Chicago. So, not too sure about what these are. Probably just going to put them up as one big lot and um, put a crazy price on it to see what happens. So, uh, yeah, this was, I think, um, a nice 
nice scroll here. And, uh, and honestly, you know, we got these at a location where the stuff's kind of just rotting away in the middle of the desert. And, um, you know, I looked this up and I said, getting set tapes. Like, yeah, I got all these. And I looked them up. I'm like, whoa. And I, just, I just glanced when I picked them up. I'm like, what is this? Yeah, I thought this was neat too. Brake Masters, New York City Breakers. Probably some old vintage hip hop stuff. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, some of the stuff I'm going to have to play it and listen to it because what's on this tape? You know what I'm saying? Um, CNN interview, Mr. Minister Louis Farrakhan, February 29th, 1984. So, uh, yeah, as always, I'll keep you posted once it sells and um, see what we get for this stuff. Just thought it was kind of unusual and, and uh, rare, you know, um, unique. And unique sells on eBay, that's, that's for sure. What do we got here? Tuesday, board cast. Okay. So today was a very good day. Got a lot of stuff to clean up, list, and start making that profit from our investment here. Appreciate you guys watching today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, please hit the thumbs up. Till next time I'm out of here, peace. Vlog over.